Today we're going to work on making change up to $5. Let's read our first problem. Ethan needs to get some change, so they pay 93 cents to buy a pen costing 83 cents. Ethan receives the following change. Is this the correct amount of change? Well, let's use our scratch pad. So we know that Ethan needs to, to buy a pen. He gives them 93 cents. And then the pen only costs 83 cents. So we would need to figure out how much change by subtracting here. So 93 cents minus 83 cents. So 93 cents minus 83 cents is going to equal 10 cents. So if Ethan needs 10 cents back, let's check to see how much each of these coins is worth. Well, we can see right here it says one cent. So this is worth one cent. This is also a penny worth one cent. This is also a penny worth one cent. This one's different, this is a nickel. If you can see really closely right here, it says five cents, so a nickel is worth five cents. And this last one is a dime, and a dime is worth 10 cents. So the amount of change given back is 10 cents plus five cents, so 15 cents, 16 cents, 17 cents, 18 cents. So does this match the 10 cents that Ethan should have received? No, this is more money than Ethan should have gotten back. So we're going to close our scratch pad and hit no. The next one. If you pay 81 cents to buy some candy costing 49 cents and you receive the following change, is this the correct amount of change? Well, again, let's start with that scratch pad. 81 cents to buy some candy costing 49 cents. So let's figure out how much change we would get back if we paid 81 cents and we needed to only pay 49 cents here. So instead of subtracting, we can add up. So 49 cents plus one cent would give us 50, let's say 50 plus 30 gives us 80 cents and then 80 plus one would give us 81 cents. To find out our total change, we would add these together 1 plus 30 plus 1 would be 32 cents. So we would get 32 cents back. Let's see if these two coins together make 32. Well, this is a quarter, and a quarter is worth 25 cents. And this is a penny. As you can see right here, a penny is worth 1 cent. So 25 cents plus one cent is actually 26 cents. So now we need to compare. Is 26 cents the same as 32 cents? No, so we're gonna close our scratch pad and hit no. Now, next one, Caleb needs to get some change. So they pay 94 cents to buy a pen costing 74 cents. Caleb receives the following change. Is this the correct amount of change? So let's start again with our scratch pad. We know that there's 94 cents that Caleb gives to pay for the pen, and the pen costs 74 cents. So we can subtract and see that Caleb would receive 20 cents, because 74, 84, 94, there's 20 cents between these two. So we know that Caleb would get 20 cents back. So now let's look and see if this amount of coins is actually worth 20 cents. This is a penny, 
This is worth one cent, another penny, one cent, another penny, one cent, and another penny, one cent, a nickel, five cents, and a dime, 10 cents. So let's start with 10. So 10 and five give us 15. I'm gonna cross them out so I remember I counted them. 10 and five is 15, then 16, 17, 18, 19. Oh my goodness, this was so close, but 19 cents does not equal 20 cents. So let's close that scratch pad and hit no. All right, you pay 80 cents to buy a pickle costing 23 cents. You receive the following change. Is this correct? Well, let's take this scratch pad. We know 80 cents minus that 23 cents and we need to figure out how much change we would receive. So let's add up 23 plus seven is 30. And then 30, we wanna get all the way to 80. So 30 plus 50 equals 80. So we know here that we need 50 plus seven, so we need 57 cents. Well, let's count our coins and see if these coins are worth 50 cent, 57 cents. Here's a quarter. Quarter is worth 25 cents. This quarter is also worth 25 cents. This penny is worth one cent. This penny is worth one cent. And this one is a nickel worth five cents. So let's add all these coins together. 25 and 25 make 50. 50 plus five, 55 plus one, 56 plus one more, 57. Ooh, so this does equal our 57 cents. So let's close and hit yes. Nice work. Angela purchases a hat that cost 32 cents. Did they receive the proper amount of change below if Angela paid 46 cents? So we know that Angela started with 46 cents and Angela paid 32 cents for that hat. So we can subtract to find out how much change Angela would have gotten. And we can see here that Angela would have gotten 14 cents back. So let's count our coins. Nickel, if you remember, a nickel is five cents. Penny is one cent. Another penny, one cent. Another one, one cent. And another one, one cent. So let's count. Five cents, six cents, seven cents, eight cents, nine cents. Does nine cents equal 14 cents? It does not, so let's close our scratch pad and hit no. Cameron purchases a trinket that costs 17 cents. Did they receive the proper amount of change below if Cameron paid 46 cents? So let's use that scratch pad. So Cameron pays 46 cents. for an item, a trinket, that costs 17 cents. So we need to subtract this. So let's count up. So if we're at 17 cents, then to get to 20, we'll add three cents. To get to 20, I'm just gonna do 20. And then to get from 20 plus 20 equals 40 and 40 plus six will give us 46. So let's count all of those add-ins. We have three plus six plus 20, that would be 29 cents. So this value of coins needs to be equal to 29 cents. Well, this is a quarter. If you remember, quarter is 25 cents. And this one over here is a dime. So a dime is worth 10 cents. So 25 cents plus 10 more is 35 cents. 
So 25 and 10 makes 35. Well, that does not equal 29 cents. So no. If you pay 42 cents to buy some school supplies costing 32 cents and you receive the following change, is this the correct amount of change? Well, let's find out. So we have 42 cents and we buy a school supply that costs 32 cents. Well, how much change would we receive? Well, there's only 10 in between 32 and 42, so we'd receive 10 cents back. Let's look at this coin. This coin is a dime. A dime is worth 10 cents. Does 10 cents equal 10 cents? Yes. So let's close and hit yes. Awesome. You pay 97 cents to buy a chocolate bar costing 87 cents and you receive the following change. Is this the correct amount of change? Well, I can tell you that if I was buying a chocolate bar, I'd buy a Kit Kat. So we have 97 cents to buy this chocolate bar, but it only cost 87 cents. So how much change is the difference? Well, 87 and 97, the only difference there is 10 cents. So if there's only 10 cents, let's count these coins and see if they are worth 10 cents. One dime, well that's worth 10 cents. A penny is worth one cent. And another penny is worth one cent. So let's count it up. 10 cents plus one, 11 cents plus one, 12 cents. Is 12 cents equal to 10 cents? Nope. So let's close that scratch pad and hit no. Awesome job. Well, Lauren purchases a trinket that costs 18 cents. Did they receive the proper amount of change below if Lauren paid 32 cents? So let's start this scratch pad. We'll start at 32 cents. That's the amount that Lauren paid. And it cost 18 cents. So we need to figure out the difference between 18 and 32. So I'm gonna start with 18, count plus two, which equals 20, 20 plus 10 equals 30, and 30 plus two equals 32. So let's count these add-ins. 10 plus two plus two is going to give us 14 Cents. So let's count to see if these are worth 14 cents. Five cents for a nickel, 10 cents for a dime, one cent for a penny, and one cent for another penny. So 10 and five is 15, 16, 17. Does 17 cents equal 14 cents? Nope. So let's close that. We're on to our last one. Sophia pur purchases a shirt that costs 31 cents. Did they receive the proper amount of change below if Sophia paid 41 cents? Well, if we have 41 cents, we need to take away the amount that we paid or the amount of the cost of the item, which was 31 cents. 41 minus 31 is 10 cents. So looking here, I can see there's a dime and still more coins here, so 10 cents, one cent, one cent, one cent, and one more cent. So let's count this all together. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Does that equal 10? Nope. Nice work. Well, I think we did a great job making change up to $5. Great job.